Hello everybody, me Mega Man fan here today. Sorry, this ain't the sequel yet to the Confessions of the Oil Field Worker. I'm just here to talk about the finds I got uh, over the weekend, including a Craigslist ad I responded to, which uh, included saying, uh, moving sale must, must go. Um, it was approximately about 20 PS2 games and I'd say 15 NES games, give or take. Uh, the cooler story was it's like there was a game store right next to where I met the guy, so I walked there and looked around and um, I was just amazed. There will be a video with this um, once I'm done talking here. Anyways, I, I drove two hours, I met the guy, picked up the games, like um, spent a hundred dollars and it was pretty cool, you know. And then I I went out to the game store, looked around, didn't expect to find anything because I'm really close to a complete NES collection and then here they had t Mario's Time Machine. And I'm like, okay, I should have enough PS2 games here to pay for that. And uh, miraculously enough, they gave me $100 in credit just for the PS2 games and I still was able to keep the bundle of NES games, which is amazing. Um, and then, like I said, I ended up getting Mario's Time Machine, but I uh, also ended up uh, picking up Tendon Tetris. Um, really fun game. I really recommend playing this game if any of you get a chance. Um, uh, it's very, way different than the other Tetris, but I love the music and, um, like I said, just plain fun. Um, I had a hundred dollars store credit. This was this one took me over by about thirteen bucks, but I mean, I only wanted to spend fifty, and I didn't want to drive two hours back another time at this time to find something. So I ended up with that. Um, anyways, um, the other finds I ended up getting were Dragon Warrior with the manual for the NES, Top Gun. Um, What's funny about this one is people pass up the second mission for Top Gun a lot because it has the same exact label except for you gotta look at the front really close and it'll say second mission. And then uh, obviously Track and Field 2. Um, for me this is an uncommon title. I don't see it a lot. I, it, I know it's out there. It was a pack-in. Um, it also was sold in box separately. Then um, Fast Break. Uh, this is a pretty common sports title. You'll find it about anywhere. Um, you probably can't read the label real well. And then um, on to, we end up getting Gauntlet 2 with the manual. Um, it's, a, it's a, a harder to find title. You know, it's out there. It's just a little more pricey. And then, um, gone to Mylon's Secret Castle. Um, I need to play this game, I have to say, because I haven't played over three quarters of my NES collection. I started playing Mighty Bomb Jack the other day. That was a really good game. Then Dick Tracy. I'm hoping this will be an upgrade to the cart I already have. Um, it's a different kind of game you have to get into. And then Tetris 2, the sequel to Tetris 1. Um, this came cart and manual another good find and then um, this really nice copy of Adventures of Link I mean there's a few blemishes here and there but all in all I think it's it's really good now remember I already uh, made close to a hundred just in credit for the games I had the PS2 not including the NES and then um, everybody needs two copies of WCW versus NWO for the uh, N64. And then for the Super Nintendo, we got Super Play Action Football. Obviously, not very. It's very common, so not very sought after. And moving on. Okay. Yeah, they also had a get list of uh, instruction manuals as well. Um, like I said, WCW versus NWO. 
And then War Gods. Two copies of GoldenEye 007 for some odd reason. Last Corpse. Body Harvest. And Star Fox 64, which is cool because I don't see this one often for manual wise. So that was a good find. Then, um,. Super Mario 64. I actually needed this. Only because I got the Super Mario 64 enough resale card. And of course, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, you can pretty much find this anywhere. <laughs> and then moving on, here's the Mylon Secret Castle instruction manual. And then these three manuals, um, I'm pretty shocked to have found in with this pile. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 arcade version, but it still has the coupon with it. So I'm hoping somebody really needs this coupon. Then, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. I actually needed this for my collection, along with Darkwing Duck. This was mo the, the prized possession I was actually looking for when I picked up this lot. Um, I really didn't care about anything else but this manual. Um, it was, the rest was all just bonus material to me because I was really happy to get it for my collection. Anyways, um, I'd like to take the time now to um, also say, um, Johnny Boy, if you're watching, thank Thank you for the all the uh, games you've been uh, selling me. The um, most recent, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I know you sent me both the variant and the regular copy, and I believe the regular copy of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. There's actually three copies of Punch-Out here. Um, I look forward to playing them very soon. I am going to be honest, I haven't played any yet. I was just there is no excuse for it but I am going to start playing them um, and thanks again um, and then lastly I've been collecting these Pokemon 20th anniversary ones um, this month there was a I keep saying his name wrong but I think it's Darkrai um, very cool Pokemon if any of you have seen my uh, Pokemon Snap Station, you know um, uh, I mostly am just a Pikachu fan, just because um, I'll admit it, I think Pikachu is cute and fluffy. <laughs> um, and that's about it. When you come back, it's just going to be uh, the video of uh, the store I've taken. And like I said, the name of the video is uh, called Cartridges Galore. That's where I went. I'm not sure if you can see the card. But they're in Altoona, PA. They also have another store. Uh, I think it, um, I'll get that info later. Um, thanks um, for watching and you have a good day. This is Mega Man Fan here. This is Retrospect Games. Um, I'm going to be putting on Facebook. Good game. Can you hear that? That's perfect, yeah. Do you have an idea on it? I thought so. That's all. Yeah, that's awesome too. That's fantastic. I was walking here thinking I was getting five up. And then Star Fox too. I knew Star Fox was another good one. The yeah. Monster Hunter. His monster hunt listen, a buddy of mine gave me that game like two years ago and he was obsessed with the series. I tried playing it, just couldn't get into it.
We have a lot of selection here at Retro Spec Games, everyone. I've seen them at the conventions. This is mostly their personal stuff up here. Again, this is Retro Spec Games or Game Games Goal or Cartridges Goal. It's called. Thank you very much. You don't mind me recording your store and putting it on YouTube, do you? It was nice talking to yeah, you, man. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Just a lot of cool stuff. You don't mind, do you? Okay. I, I forget I have to ask sometimes because people don't like it. They're not worth anything. Okay. Yeah, again, this is Mega Man Fan. I'm here at... Cartridges Galore in um, Altoona, PA. It's also known as Retrospect Games. <laughs> hey, cool. The Halo Edition PS or Halo Xbox. I just fixed one of those. Okay. So, do you, have you got an Xbox in yet that uh, doesn't power on? <laughs> uh, not that I know. I found the solution that fixes that. What is it? Uh, the USB ports on the front and back. Yeah. The plastic inside breaks off, and then the next time you push a uh, a controller into it, it bends all the pins against the wall of the Xbox, and it shorts it out, thinking it's um, not working. So you got to pull them all straight, and then oh. you got to tape them up, and they'll power on just fine. Well, then there you go. I like sharing knowledge. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So if someone walks in, hey, this isn't working, just look and see if there's any missing the center plastic pieces, you know, that the controller mount on to. And uh, it'll fix it right up. People are probably going to think this is weird, me talking about Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in your way. Yeah, I, well, I just don't know how comfortable you are in the videos. Oh, no, I don't care. Yeah. What is your name in here? Matt. Uh, this is Matt from Cartridges Galore. I keep on calling it, uh... Retrospect? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm still so surprised you have a Mario Party 3 nut for resale. Yeah. I'm shocked, too. Because I've never... I've seen it maybe a couple times. Okay. I've had every one... Yeah, I've had every... Every knob for resale in 64 cart. Sorry. Including the elusive gray Majora's mask. Only four minutes of gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this will get you more people. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. We actually I, just started our uh, Twitter and Instagram and like Snapchat back up. Um, what I suggest is make a video yourself, okay? Because that it really helps people get to know you around. And uh, I'm all done. Uh, this was Retrospect Games uh, by Mega Man Fan. Goodbye. I've got a low power state, but I didn't record this. I'm trying to think of wording for our Instagram post that I have yet to post since Nick left <laughs> about our PS2 games. This is. Just give me a second, I'll let you tell you how we do it. <laughs>